We'll guide you through how to download and install The Sims 4 on your PC or laptop. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Sims 4 is a great game and it's actually free as well. So all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll use Chrome, but you can use any you want. And all you need to do is go and search for The Sims 4. Now, The Sims 4 is actually by EA, aka Electronic Arts, so come to their site just here. Now on here, all you need to do is go to the top right and click on play for free. So to go and get The Sims 4, we need to go and get the EA app. It's essentially a launcher. So click on EA app for Windows in the top right. Then you can scroll down and click on download now and click on EA app for Windows and it will then go and download the installer. You can find it in your browser or alternatively open up your file explorer. In your file explorer, go over to the left and select downloads and then here's the installer. You can then go and double click on it and you'll go and get this pop-up. Press on let's go and it will go and say downloading stuff. You'll get a Windows security pop-up. All you need to do is wait. After it's finished, you'll go and get this sign in. So you do need to have an EA account. If you don't already have one, click on create account. You can also go and sign in with these platforms up here. I have an account so I can just sign in. For some reason for me, the EA app started minimized, but don't worry, you can just open it up. Click on home over to the left, and then what we want to do is go and search for Sims 4, like so. Now for me, I've already added it to my library, as you can see there, but you'll need to go and click on it, and there'll be an option like add to library or get, or something like that, but it is free, as I've said. After you've gone and added it to your library, you then need to go over to the left, into library, and you can then go and click on it, and when you click on it, you'll see the option for download. You can then click on download, and you can then go and choose these settings here. For example, where it's going to be installed, etc. When you set them to your liking, you can then click on next and you can confirm your decision by pressing download. You do need to make sure you've agreed to these, which I do. As you can see in the bottom, you can go and see the progress here. And so once it finishes downloading, it will automatically install. And to go and play it, you can then come into your library and you can click on The Sims 4 and you'll be able to go and play it from clicking the button on this page. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.